It's so hot outside. Yeah, I know. <gasps> I have an idea. What is it? Let's walk down to the store and get some ice cream. Yes, let's do it. Hey man, remember when we were younger and we used to always finish each other's sentences? Yeah, those were the good old days. Why do you ask? Well, I'm wondering if we could do that again. Sit down. I can stand. I told you to sit down. Please, miss. I was supposed to get off three stops ago. Mom, this new show just came out on Disney Plus and it looks so good. We don't have Disney Plus. I know. Can we get it, please? No, we already have Netflix, Amazon Prime, and whatever else we have. We don't need another. I knew you would say that. It says there's a seven day free trial. Can we get that? If it's free, then go ahead, but you're not getting my credit card. Yes! Here. I've only put one thing in the cart. Mom, are you almost done? We're about halfway done. <laughs> Alright, this is the last thing. Now let's go pay. Yes! I can't wait to get home! <laughs> wait a second. Is that Carla? Hi, Shelly! Long time no see! Oh, what am I forgetting? Ketchup! No. Mom, we're out of ketchup. Really? Let me see. Secret rooms that people found in their house. Ohio University students thought their house was haunted because their closets kept opening and they were hearing noises. After looking around, they found a room in their basement that led to a secret closet. They found a bed, books, and photographs that belonged to a stranger that was living there that they didn't know. A Reddit user shared a picture of a passageway in their new house. When he entered, he found a locked door that led to a secret room. Inside, he found a briefcase and a safe that had money, watches, and the most terrifying thing was a videotape saying the words, no, no, no. The tape was turned over to the police to try and solve the mystery. Finally, a man noticed some unusual boards in his basement so he tried moving them and he found a room in his house that he had no clue existed. Inside it was filled with ammunition and empty gun cases. There was even a grenade but it was thankfully confirmed to be a dud. Facts you think are lies but are actually true. The Italian term spaghetti used to name a type of pasta is plural and if you want to refer to a single piece of pasta in a package the correct term is spaghettio. Columbus Day is celebrated in the United States on the second Monday of October but the truth is Columbus never set foot in the United States. Man stepped on the moon before wheeled suitcases were made. Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon in 1969 and suitcases with wheels were created in 1972. Clouds in the sky may look really light but depending on the size they weigh about a ton. The military uses dogs to
detect bombs thanks to their scenting abilities, which is really useful for ground operations. But what many people don't know is that the Navy trains and uses dolphins to detect bombs at sea and even attack enemy ships. Here's the only way to survive a zombie apocalypse. The first thing you want to do is get as far away from cities as possible, because even though it'll have lots of food and supplies, soon enough you'd be surrounded by thousands of zombies. From what the movies have showed us, zombies are terrible swimmers, so getting on a boat will probably be the safest way to get away from zombies. But if there's no water nearby, then you'll want to run to the hills, because zombies will have a hard time getting up there, and once you're there, find a building made out of concrete, brick, or metal, because anything weaker like wood can easily be torn down by a horde of zombies. But you won't be able to stay there forever because you'll need food. So make a suit out of anything you could find, like hockey pads, gloves, and a helmet. Once you're there, you'll want to gather enough food and water to last you for a few weeks. But now, when you go to leave the supermarket, there's tons of zombies waiting for you outside. And before I tell you what to do next, I found this super fun zombie apocalypse game called State of Survival. They're even giving away a brand new Lamborghini, and all you have to do to enter is reach level 5. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, in order to leave the supermarket, you either need to hide until they all leave or make a distraction. But if both of those fail, you'll have to camouflage yourself in with them. So you'll have to get some zombie flesh or guts, then rub it all over you to make you smell like them. Then they'll let you walk right past them. These simple objects had a secret from you in plain sight. The marks on the side of coins haven't always been there. In the 18th century, people were saving coins to make new ones, which is clearly illegal. So to stop this, they began engraving the sides to prevent them from being manipulated, which worked. The ring on cans lets people put their cigarettes there, but also if you have a painting that's fallen, because one of the hooks detached, you can screw the ring into the painting and hang it again. Water bottles can be used to create a small greenhouse. Just cut the bottom and you can watch the seed grow. The Orbit chewing gum has a secret hidden in the logo. The round shape of the O has two colors. The light one represents day and the dark Dark one represents night, just like our planet orbiting the sun. And finally, if you place garlic cloves in the microwave for 10 seconds, the husk will separate so you don't have to peel it with your hands. The most shocking moments caught on live streams. This Twitch streamer who goes by Mr. Big got the police called on him for a noise complaint. But when the police came to his door, he refused to give them any information, so he was arrested. It was all captured on his live stream, but that wasn't even the most crazy part. A few minutes later, one of his neighbors comes in and starts stealing things from him. This guy found 45 rattlesnakes under his house and you won't believe what he did with them. In 2019, a man started having problems with his cable service. He wanted to see if he could fix the problem himself. So he crawled into his crawl space to see if he could find a loose wire. But then he noticed a couple rattlesnakes, which are fairly common in Texas. But their venom can cause nausea, sweating, blurred vision, and even death. So being in an enclosed area with them isn't the best idea. But it got a lot worse when he noticed there wasn't just two snakes, but 45 of them. He immediately got out of there and called Big Country Snake Removal. They then came to his house and took them all out into buckets. The man lived around 40 minutes away from Sweetwater, which is famous for a rattlesnake roundup. They round up over 250,000 rattlesnakes in plastic bins before butchering them. Some people say it helps with rattlesnake awareness, where other people say it should be bad. The festival organizers pay $10 per pound of snakes, so he could have made around $2,700. But instead, he chose to have them delivered to a quiet place and released back into the wilderness. This lady refused to tip the waiter, but didn't realize what she left on the table. Armando dropped off two slices of pizza for a lady and a child at their table. Then the lady questioned him on why there is only a few pictures of woman on the wall. Since he was just a waiter at the restaurant and had no clue, he jokingly said that maybe women just don't eat pizza much. A few minutes later, he went to check on them, but they were gone. The lady had left the restaurant without paying, and she left him a handwritten note that said, maybe women don't tip, too. He felt bad because he didn't realize that his joke had offended her. Then he saw an envelope on the table that had Citibank written on it. So he ran outside to give it back to her, but he couldn't find her. He saw that inside it, it had a check for $424,000. Since he's an honest man, he didn't cash it and he handed it to his boss. They then tracked her down through the newspaper. Apparently she had that money because she had just sold her house. She apologized to Armando and offered him money for finding it, but he declined. The owner also explained to her that she had missed the wall with lots of pictures of women on it too. 